Okay, this is continuing on with section 1.5, and it's on equations and graphs of circles. And uh, equations that the x and y are both squared could be circles, ellipses, or hyperbolas, and we're only going to look at circles here. Now, the format for the equation of a circle is this right here, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And it will have a center at the point hk. In other words, it's the opposite of this comma, the opposite of this, that's where the center of the circle is, and the radius will be the square root of this number, that's what the r stands for. So for this equation right here, x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 25, I know it's a circle because it's in this format, notice both of the leading coefficients, the numbers in front of these parentheses have to be 1, it can't be like a 2 here and a 2 here, if it was a 2 on both sides we could divide by that, but um, if it was a 2 here and a 3 here, that wouldn't work. Also, we need a plus sign in here, and this number over here has to be positive. All that needs to be true for it to be a circle. Well, we have that right here. So the center is going to be at the opposite of this. Opposite of negative 2 is 2. Opposite of plus 3 is negative 3, so that's where the center of the circle is. And the radius is going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. Now, um, what we could do here is use the Excel sheet to check this, if I am on the conic sheet, which I'm on, and I look over here where it says circles, I could check that and see if it was true. I can't really work it out. I mean, it's just a matter of remembering that. But we could check our answer. We got that the center was at 2, negative 3, and we got the radius was 5. So we can put those in here, and we can see if we get the equation that we started off with. 25 equals x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared. and that's what we had right there. So that is the correct answer. Now, if the equation doesn't come in that format, that perfectly squared format, then you either have to complete the square or you can do it with uh, Excel. I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and do this one with Excel first. And what we have to do is just move a little bit to the right here where we can put the equation in in this standard form right here. And then it will tell us what type of graph it is, whether it's an ellipse or a circle or whatever. And it will tell us the radius, and it will tell us the center over here, and it will even graph it for us. So let's take a look at this. Let's shrink this down a little bit and put in my coefficients. Well, my coefficient in front of the x squared is 1. My b would be negative 4, and I have those in here. The c would be 4. Now the d has to be the same as the a. The coefficient in front of the y squared has to be the same as the coefficient in front of the x squared for it to be a circle. If it's not, like this is a 2 and this is a 1, then it's not a circle. It may be an ellipse or a hyperbola or something like that. But uh, this one, the coefficient in front of the y squared is 1, so the d would be 1. The e is negative 6. The f is 8. And the constant on the other side is 25. And right there, we have our answer. This is a circle. The radius is 5.09. The center is at the point 2, 3, and if we scroll down, it even gives you a place here to put it in standard form. So the C and the D would both be 1, so the equation would be X minus the H, which is 2, so it'd be X minus 2 squared plus the D is 1, so it'd be Y minus 3 squared. Now this says over A squared and B squared. Well, to get it in the format of a circle, you just multiply by that um, value right there of 26, and so the tw that would give us the 26 on the other side, so that would give us in the format of a circle. So this equation would be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 26. Now, that's the right answer. To do it by paper and pencil, we have to use a uh, thing called completing the square, and uh, we did that in a previous video of this section, and I don't think you liked it, so uh, I don't think you're going to like it now. No, sir. I didn't like it. No, nope, you didn't like it then. You probably won't like it now, so here we go. If you did a paper and pencil, here's what we'd need to do. We'd need to get this equation up here in this format. And the first part of it, the x squared minus 4x plus 4, that factors into x minus 2 squared. Well, that's lucky that it did that. Now, the next part, we're not so lucky. The second part of the equation, the y squared minus 6x plus 8, it factors into y minus 2, y minus 4, but that doesn't help us at all. We need to factor into something like y minus 4 squared or y plus 3 squared or whatever. So it doesn't do that. So we have to make y squared minus 6x plus 8 into a trinomial that factors into a binomial squared. To do this, we've got to complete the square. 
So what you have to do is take half the coefficient of the linear term, so half of that negative 6, and you got to square it. Half of that negative 6 is negative 3, and that's actually what it's going to factor into, y minus 3 squared, but we have to know what constant we need to add on to both sides of the equation. So you take half of that middle term and square it. That's just the process you go through to complete the square. Take half the middle term and square it. Half of negative 6 is negative 3, and square it is 9. So I know I need to add 9 on to both sides of the equation. So I added 9 on to the left side and right side. So now this y squared minus 6x plus 9 will factor into y minus 3 squared. So that took care of this part, these three terms of this. So we have the y minus 3 squared. We still have the plus 8. And we have to take that to the other side. Adding the 9 on to the 25, we got the 34. So now just subtract the 8 from both sides, and you'll get y, uh, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 26. And that's the equation that we would have had uh, when we did it on Excel just a little bit ago. That's what we had. And so the center of the circle is at 2, 3. Okay, opposite of these two numbers, and the radius is the square root of 26, which is 5.099. Remember, that's what we got right there for the format of the equation. There's the, uh, there's the radius, there's the center on Excel. Okay, the next problem is really pretty messy, and you're probably just going to want to do that one on Excel. It's written up both ways, but let's go ahead and, and, and do it on Excel. Uh, here's the problem. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, or that was the last problem. Let's go ahead and go on to the next problem. This problem right here, again, it's not in that perfectly squared format, and it shows you how to do this in the book here, how to do it paper and pencil. But let's go ahead and do this problem uh, with Excel. So we would go to the conic sheet, and we would need to uh, put in our coefficients. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's the equation. So the coefficients are 2 negative 4, 4, then this one is a 2. Notice it would be an ellipse right now, but this coefficient is a 2, then a minus 5, and an 8, and the number on the other side is 25. So what do we have? Well, it is a circle. The radius is 3.01, and the center is at the coordinate 1, 1 1.25. And here's the graph of that, 1, 1 1.25 high, and the radius was about 3. And if you wanted to know the format of that equation, well, let's scroll over. And if you had to write it in that standard form of a circle, it would be x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1.25 squared equals, multiplying by the a squared and b squared, multiplying that to get it over here, equals um, 9.0625. So it's really messy, but that would be the equation. Again, x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1.25 squared equals 9.0625. Okay, and I think uh, we'll save the distance and midpoint for the next video.